Near the end of his life, uh, 1820, uh, Beethoven wrote three sonatas that are considered among the greatest pieces ever written for the piano, and you have the privilege of listening to one of them tonight. And the three have names, uh, Opus 109, 110, 111. Now, even these, though these works are so great, they are not among the most popular Beethoven pieces. They don't even have nicknames, you know, Moonlight or Apasionata. So why, if they're so great, are they not that popular? And the answer is that they are very condensed. Beethoven is writing at the end of his life. He's completely deaf. And, uh, and he strips everything down so that it's very interesting. But on the other hand, if you let your attention wander a minute, you find that half the piece has come by you because it just goes by that fast. In a sonata, you have a contrast between the first and second themes. And if you look at your program, you'll see that uh, the first movement has two tempos, the vache, which is fast, and adagio, which is very slow. And in fact, the two themes are, the first theme is vivace, and the second theme is adagio, very slow. The first theme is a grand total of just eight bars, and I'm gonna play the whole thing. <laughs> goes by. The first theme is there, then the second theme and adagio. Then there's a development, which is vivace. In the middle of the development, Beethoven gets into these accents. Like that. And finally builds up which is the first thing coming back again, but way up in the treble. So that's the first movement. It's a grand total of about three minutes long, three to four minutes. Second movement you can see is marked prestissimo. That means very fast. And it is also in sonata form. It has a first thing. What I want you to pay attention to here is not just the right hand, but the left hand. Because the left hand is the melody that Beethoven focuses on. And the second theme. And the second theme ends with. The final movement is much longer, about 14 minutes, and it's a theme and variations where you have a melody and then variations. You can see on your program, I hope, that there are six variations. The melody is this one, one of Beethoven's most beautiful. So that's 
That's the melody. There's eight bars of that. It's repeated. And then there's second half. variation has the same 32 bars. First variation is marked molto espressivo. Second variation is leggermente lightly. And Second variation is more complicated because it has a second part. And if you try to follow it, the thing to watch for is the third variation, because when the third variation hits, you'll know it. It's marked Allegro Vivace. Fourth variation is a Greek. Has also a second part. And again, the easiest thing to watch for is the fifth variation, because I call it the fugue, and you again won't miss. interesting because Beethoven starts with the melody played one note to the beat. Two notes to the beat. Sonata Opus 109. 